Hi guys and welcome to your December 2019. This is going to be the general love energy read for the beautiful sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey guys, I am back and feeling much better. Thank you guys all for your well wishes. As you know, last weekend, if you don't know, um, I came down with a bit of the, um, I don't want to call it a stomach flu. It was more like food poisoning. If I can attribute that feeling and that sickness to the last thing that I ate, which was not a good decision on my um, behalf anyway, guys, trust your intuition. I did not do that. And I know better as a result, um, I not only got sick in the middle of a reading with a client, I had to in that moment and she know who she is. So Thank you for being so patient with me, Miss Hattie, um, if you are watching this video. But um, I actually, as soon as I hit end on that, because I ended her um, reading early because I was feeling sick, enough for story time. And as a result of that, it cost me two days. Um, and I pretty much didn't start feeling 100% until literally the 11th hour of the holiday. So happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Which leads me into my next announcement. If you guys want to keep up with me, because I have so many social media pages, it's impossible for me to update you all across platforms. So if you want to keep up with me, the best way to find out what's going on with Mars right now um, is um, not necessarily the website, but probably the community tab on YouTube and Facebook. Okay. I will have a central place for everybody to go coming soon. I have to de design a spot for updates and uh, what's going on with Marv, okay? Um, before we get into this, also the 1111 special. So um, no emails on this, guys. If you watch the videos, you should have a clear understanding of how it works. Every month on the 4th, okay, the link will open. It will be available for you to book, okay? That's seven days prior to the 11th of that month. What you are doing is booking a 20 minute reading for $11. Okay. It is a night reading only. It's a 20 minute reading on the 11th of the month for $11. That's what it is. No if, ands, or buts. Sorry about that. Okay. With that being said, once you book that particular reading, everything you will, will need is actually in the confirmation. I have built the language into the confirmation for you guys so you can know. Let's get into it. So, thank you so much for being patient with me again. Um, again, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, you are struggling with coming off of that Mercury retrograde and that Scorpio season where things are coming out. There have possibly been some things that you have been reflecting on or that you reflected on as a result of that energy. Um, and now you're going into December trying to put trying to put to peace or trying to accept a decision that you've made or a circumstances for what a circumstance or a happenstance for what it was. Okay. Um, three key activation words that I am giving, um, for everyone as a, for the month, all 12 Zodiac signs that is gateway miracles and illumination. Those key words and their phrases will be in the description box. That is what we need to focus on for the month of December of 2019, taking us into the brand new year, brand new energy for 2020 to start a brand new decade. That is across the board. But you, Taurus, are having to deal with some things from an inner peace perspective. You're having to put the past behind you. You're having to dig deep and put the past behind you about the fact that it's a possibility that a relationship that came to you as a result of flirting or someone kept it light and flirty. Unfortunately, it was not. It was not. I repeat enough chemistry, not necessarily attraction. But there wasn't enough of a firm foundation to really take the relationship to the next level. That person kept it fun. They extended their lighthearted energy. You wanted something more than what that person was giving you. Flirt is probably the best way to, to describe it. And as a result of that, 
It just was not built upon a firm foundation. And you know that. And you're having a hard time letting go of peak, like in your mind, like you thought that it was real. Some of you guys really thought that it was real. Um, and I'm not going to say necessarily that it was fake because I see some things in here that um, you've been dealing with or how you feel or what you're dealing with. I can fill in the gaps or kind of, you know, uh, fill in the, the pieces on what this person showed you. But remember, deception's not here. Third party energy isn't here. Wearing the false self mask isn't here. But there is an energy that is here that means that there, if we open up the nature of that particular card, then it could give us some insight on why this relationship did not go to the next level. Okay? Tranquility, Taurus, occurs when you realize that life is unfo uh, unfolding according to divine planning. Okay? So, serenity, again, it already exists within you. It is your birthright. All right? You need to breathe deeply and fully knowing that all is well. Now, I see this two ways, Taurus. Either the situation needs to unfold um, and be rebuilt from a standpoint of this unrequited love. Obviously, we know you cannot build a relationship or take it to the next level if you're here. For some of you guys, it has nothing to do with chemistry or attraction. That's easy. It has everything to do with a difference of temperament. It has everything to do with a difference of, of like, you can't change a grown-up. You heard that? Um, there is an offer here. This is a Knight of Pentacles, what I show. This is one of the slowest moving decks. There is an emperor here or a empress here, a person that you're connecting with that does not have to give you this pinnacle. They can withhold that offer and do exactly what they want to do. Again, we're already in the gate, Taurus, with uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. Um, again, the energy is vice versa. I should not have to say that. Maybe someone's angry with you and you don't want to offer this pinnacle, but let's keep moving. Then we have Gemini energy of the lovers. That's a deep spiritual connection and you know it. So like I said, some of you guys need to let go of the fact that this was a connection but it wasn't necessarily the connection that is going to defy and transcend, you know, a lifetime or it was meant to come in. Some of you guys need to accept that this person came in to teach you lessons. As my good friend says, she know who she, she knows who she is. Maybe that was the practice round. Maybe this was preparing you for your person. I see it two ways here, though, because of this. And there is a change of fortune that's going to take place. Let's keep moving. So far, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And in the, in the heart of the matter here, we have you quietly preparing. That's why I know this isn't over. I don't see the tower, okay, as an Aries' video. So if you are, if some of you guys are connecting with in the Aries, because the emperor is in this particular uh, video, then if you're connecting with fire, go and watch that Aries video. It's the person. And they're blocking the forward movement in this relationship because of internal work that they need to do. And you need to put that to peace. You need to put that to rest, Taurus. You need to make peace with it and move on with your life. For others of you, this was the practice round. You need to make peace with the fact that you get many soulmates. You get many incarnations of deep spiritual connections as represented with the, from this card. And that is what needs to be put to rest. Take it for what it was worth and move forward. Miracles, gateways, and illumination. Read the, 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 the little snippets of descriptions for those three words in the description box. If you do that, you will be able to be put this, this situation to rest. I know it's easier said than done, but you're quietly preparing. So whichever scenario you resonate with, you are taking a mental rest right now, taking a break. Quietly preparing for action. Mentally preparing yourself. Good job. And you are 
planning in that in that energy of sitting still four of, of swords then the heart of this matter here you're also taking you've already moved one step ahead of the action plan of putting intention to action okay and the heart of the matter you've already moved to the fours you've already took one step from the three of swords being upset heartbroken lonely you've stepped into your four of swords so you are making progress taurus into your three of wands so now you are already actively into the intention and this is you taking that act that that intention to action okay looking out on the horizon and planning and for those of you who have uh, Aries, like I said, if you're connecting with an Aries, if you have Aries in your chart, or if you just need, or you feel you're resonating with the part of this that is saying that you need to tap into that Aries energy, Aries' video also had this three of wands, okay? Also, and then we end with the emperor. All right, so this is, like I said, we know the emperor rules empires. We already know business owner, wisdom, um, a wise person. There are low vibrational, there are pros and cons of each one of the energies. It doesn't matter. So on one hand, this person is brilliant, wise, entrepreneurial, has, has his or her own business and all of that. But a low vibratory emperor serves us no purpose, just like low vibratory energy does it. So, you know, this person could have held back this person could have uh, decided not to tell you things. This person could have decided to operate independently into their nature because that is what they do. Okay. And maybe there was some things that did not get resolved properly because of it. I see that children are playing a factor. This represents blending your families. You, somebody is pregnant, children exist together with this emperor energy, or there is a bonus child somewhere. You're inheriting a child. This is definitely a reason why um, that maybe your emperor or empress has not told you, okay, Taurus? Children play a large factor here, either on your side to them or them their side to you. I also see romantic feelings. Um, your feelings are real and worth exploring. And I think honestly, that goes back here. And this is a part of the reason why you can't let go of this unrequited love. And I'm not, like I said, I see the playfulness. I see the deep spiritual connection. I honestly don't think that spirit brought unrequited love out to, 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 for me to convey to you that this person isn't attracted to you. No, it's deeper than that because the, the lovers is here. If this was any other card, if even if this was the two of cups was out, I still would have, I would have been like, nah, but this lovers trumps that there is something between you guys, but there is not enough of something because someone isn't allowing it to take place. If you resonate with option two, the other option is, is it just wasn't enough to take place to get to that deep level and it's time for you to come to peace with it and let it go. I just noticed that this is hair on this man. We're going to keep it clean. So, and then we have playfulness. So again, this goes back to flirt and this person can keep it clean, keep it clean, keep it, keep it playful on a playful level and you desire something deeper than that. And it could be just as simple as that. It could be a difference in temperament. And this person is very business-like when it comes down to taking care of the emperor's business. But when it comes down to really d diving deep here and offering that pinnacle, they're going to be stingy with it because they don't have to. Now, some people, some readers interpret that lover's card as multiple lovers. It could be if this is option one where you need to let go of this person, that could be very well it. It could have been another person. But this lover's card, audience of mine, Marvelous Tribe, depicts two people, not three. 
Now, the Wisdom Seekers Tarot are one of the ones that I used this time last year or earlier this year when I referred to the lady as Buck Naked Susie because it was three people in that card. It was easy. I mean, that card did not leave room for you to think anything else but third party, you know? So if you guys been rocking with me for a while, you know I named how I was like, because one person was in a wedding dress and the other person was naked. So there's that. That's why I called her that. But in this particular case, the person is blocking the connection because of children, possibly because they're not emotionally, they're not allowing themselves to go emotionally deep enough. Um, you're being guided to put it to rest. Bottom of the deck energy is the queen of swords. So you have put your boundaries up. You're operating in your queen of swords and you're going towards your own truth and you forgot about it. You didn't forget about it. You're trying to put it to peace. That's where you are. You're trying to put it to peace. That's You can't forget about it, but you're trying to forgive the situation, okay? And then top of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. There's going to be um, a change of fortune. And as you can see, that will, that will, spirit, the hand of spirit, Juan, please, Vanna White, the, the hand of spirit is turning that will, someone is coming off. So if for you guys there was a third party, as represented in option number one, or whichever option, keep up with them, then that wheel is going to change and that person is being knocked off that, um, that wheel. Um, and for those of you who resonate with the other one, where this person is choosing to take his or her time and keep it light and clean and uh, light and playful and decide that they don't want to offer that pinnacle and they can take their time. Guess what? Those thoughts, processes, patterns are going to come flying off that wheel. And I believe that once you start putting this to rest there, because I see you quietly preparing. But at the same time, there's the offer is on the, on the board. The offer to move forward is here. So I do interpret it with one, those of you, you're going to get incorporated into this person's life the way that you want. And then you're going to be called on the carpet to figure out how you're going to want to deal with that. Because maybe what you think is, oh, thank you. Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to take both of them. I'm pulling your soul's lessons cards or your blockage cards, by the way, as I'm talking. You're going to have a decision to make because the lovers, again, and the offer is here. The knight does want to move the pinnacle forward. But there are some things between you guys that need to be worked out. Okay? So you're being guided to put some things to rest in your inner peace. What has blocked that was peace. I am, be I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. It was the way in which you thought about it. So you're being guided to change your perception also and grow. Check that out. I can't even make it up. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And Taurus, that's your message. So um, you're going to have to change the way you think about this situation and put all negativity to rest, okay, in order to achieve your peace, okay? Peace is your thing. You have got to quiet your mind. In order to get to your growth and inner peace, you're going to have to really just quiet it. And, and I think the majority of your your frustration and anger is the fact that you had to grow out of that three of swords to walk into your four of swords and you're still processing that you're still you have to grow grow beyond the unrequited love there we go that's the title you have to grow beyond grow grow beyond the past that's what you have to do okay like share subscribe to the marvelous tribe that was beautiful energy I'm going to leave you here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Lover's Card. So um, <clears throat> if you want to know what's going on in the sky, please check Channel 2 out. The Astro Snip will be published. I want you to go down in the description below. Everything you need is there. 
I also want you to keep in mind the December keywords that's going to take us out of this year and propel us into a new decade of 1-1-2020, which is Gateway, Miracles, and Illumination. I'm going to leave you with this beautiful energy. I will see you back here, back here next week when we do it again, Taurus, and we find out what they aren't telling you or what aren't they telling you from the 1st through the 15th. There you go. Bye, Taurus. I'll see you next week.